Hey guys, it's Gonji Drummer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you haven't subscribed to the channel to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be bringing you a new video series. This new series is going to be focusing on programming and what I want to do is teach you C Sharp and also Python at the same time. We're gonna be basically using Visual Studio Code and then have two different windows open when we're gonna be doing C Sharp coding and also Python coding at the same time for the same lesson. So let's jump into my computer and start working on it. All right guys, welcome to my channel. And today I'm gonna to be focusing on showing you how we can code in C Sharp and also how we can code in Python. I am very passionate when it comes to programming so I'm hoping that that passion carries out to you. And what I'm gonna be doing today is starting the projects. We're gonna be creating a C Sharp project and also a project for Python where we're gonna just be using our terminal to do that. So what I'm gonna be doing is creating the project for .NET first, and then we can go ahead and, and work on Python at the same time. So for today's video, there's gonna be two phases. We're gonna start with creating the projects for both Python and C Sharp, which we're gonna be using that .NET Core. And then right after we get that done, we're gonna be looking into just something as simple as creating variables, declaring variables, different data types, and just starting from the ground up. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new project. And this is just gonna be a directory where we're gonna have two of the different projects. I'm gonna have one for C Sharp and also one for Python. So let me think about how I'm gonna be naming this. So we can just say C Sharp, we can just call it Fundamentals. We can call it C Sharp and Python Fundamentals. That's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna call it. And that's what I'm gonna be putting in GitHub so that you can download and look at the examples as well. So let me also go into this folder. And then what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using VS Code. And VS Code is an editor that I really enjoy using. It has a lot of power. And it also is available for Linux, for Windows, for Mac. So it's really lightweight and it actually makes our life a lot easier because it's really fast. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a folder for C Sharp. So this is gonna be our C Sharp, basically our C Sharp project. And then I'm also going to be creating a folder for, which is going to be another root folder. So I'm escape out of this and then select the top. And then this one is gonna be Python. Make sure that they are not both in the same. Let me go ahead and open up the finder. And then what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and drag it and drop it the parent directory. The way they're both at the same level. So we're gonna do C sharp and also Python. So when it comes to C Sharp, we're gonna be creating a new project. And if you if you haven't done this or you don't have this already, make sure that you download the CLI tools. And you can get those by going into, I can show you that .NET Core CLI download. And I'm gonna put this link in the description of this video. So just go ahead and download this tool. It's going to basically give you functionality to create projects by using the command line. So we don't have to have any robust IDE to do that. So you download it, and once you download it, you're basically gonna have you're gonna have this command available, which is gonna be .NET, which is gonna basically allow us to create the C# -sharp project that we want to create. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go. We can either use this terminal or the terminal that is built in. Let's go ahead and use the terminal that is built in, so that we keep everything inside of VS Code. That way, everything it's you know in in its own environment. So we're gonna be doing everything from here, and I'm also gonna make it a little bit bigger so that you can see that you can see everything and it's clear for you. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go into my c -sharp folder and then I'm gonna create a new project. This is gonna be the project for, for today's lesson. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, let's go, let's go ahead and call it video one and I'll do the same thing with the project for Python and that way we can build upon that and then next time we'll have video two and so on as I work on each lesson. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna create a new directory inside of the C-sharp folder. And this is gonna be video one. And then we have that. I can go back to my Python one. And in the Python one, I'm gonna do exactly the same. This is gonna be video one. And then we're gonna be working on both at the same time. So this is gonna be interesting because I haven't done this where I'm working on both at the same time, but I normally code in many programming languages. 
So I done Objective C, I done Python, C Sharp, and C and Swift, and so on. Uh, and it's really it's really awesome when you start to look at the advantages of using one language, you know, versus another one. And that's why what I'm kind of hoping you see as we work on these two at the same time. All right, so let me let me go ahead and go back to the C Sharp. Let's go ahead and go into C Sharp, and then Video One, and then here I'm gonna use the CLI, and this is gonna be you know, we're gonna do that .NET and then new, and then we're gonna just create a console application. It's gonna tell us what type we want to create, the name that we want to create, and then for this app, we can just call it video one as well. And this is gonna be the name of the project that we're creating for C Sharp. And we might have redundant folders. That's what I was afraid of. So let me go ahead and fix that. And then in future videos, I'll make sure to, to fix that so that we don't do that. And let me just go ahead and let me do this and let me put it like one folder after and then I'll just delete this folder and then we'll go back to this one and drop it back into C Sharp. Okay, so we should be good now. It's just when you create a project with the CLI, it's going to create the folder of the project so we didn't need to create the folder manually. And then this is just saying that if I want to add the C Sharp extension and the assets to be able to build it, let's just go ahead and say yes, that's fine. And then what I'll do is I'll show you, this is just a Hello World app. And I'm also gonna do the same thing on in Python so that you can see that we can display that as well. So in Python, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use, you know, purely the terminal. We're gonna be coding in Python as well. So I'm just gonna have, I'm just gonna have this one right here. And what I'm gonna do, I actually need to create a new, a new file. So for Python, let's focus on doing that on the terminal. So I'm gonna go here, and then we're gonna go back one more, and then let's go ahead and go into Python. And yes, I know that this was an error, a mistake, so we can just ignore that. And there we go. And then what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and, I think I can just use touch, and we can just say video1.py. See if that does it, yep. And then what that does is basically just creates an empty file and this is going to say the Python extension is recommended for this file type. Let's go ahead and say yes, install it. And this is because I haven't used Python in the in VS Code, and this is actually cool. I normally I normally use it through the terminal, and I can do something like well that's in, that is installing. I can show you. I can do Python, and I can basically just type in anything in here, and it'll be valid Python. But when you're building you know more robust applications, when you're doing more than just you know, quick commands. You want something more robust, but there are other IDEs that you can also use that are available for Python. So for what I have right now, I think what we're gonna be doing is it's perfect. So I'm just gonna say, I don't wanna add that. And you can change the Python interpreter. And I can't even say that word, but that's okay. Let's just say, got it. Okay, so we, we're good to go. This is gonna be our Python script here. And then let's go ahead and go into the hierarchy here. And then I'll put my program which is going to be my C Sharp. So let me go ahead and set them side, side by side. So what I have right now, and I don't know what this is, we can just exit out of it. So what I have right now is I have Python code here and I have C Sharp code in here. Of course, this is gonna be a console application. This is just gonna be basically a, a Python file that is going to be outputting information. In fact, if I just say, if I just say Python and then video one, it's going to basically run, but it doesn't show anything because we just don't have anything just yet. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you what we can do with both. And one thing that I can see right now is that we have, on the left side, we have Hello World, but on the right side, I don't have anything printing. So what I'm gonna do on the right side, I'm gonna do print, and then I'm going to be basically printing exactly the same thing. So I'm just gonna say Hello World, and then that's it. And just keep in mind that I haven't done Python for a few months, so if I make mistakes, we'll we'll correct them, and then we'll learn we'll learn about it together. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have two terminals. So this terminal is going to be purely for. Let me see where we are. We are in the Python file. So let me go back, and then in this one, I'll just go ahead and set myself to be under the C sharp, and then we'll go video one. So this one is gonna be for C sharp, and then I'm gonna create a new terminal which is going to be for my Python code. And I'll show you why I need to do that. Let me go back, I think I went too far. 
reason why I want to do this is because I'm going to have to execute two different, two different commands when it comes to, you know, actually running the script. So this is going to be more of a, I'm running the script, and this is going to be it's a compile language. So we need to compile the code so that it creates an exe. So this one is more of a, you know, this one is not, it's not type, it's not a type language, meaning that when I run it, it's when it's going to be executed. Where this one, it needs to be compiled and everything needs to be working by the time that I run the executable. And also, if I make a mistake here, here syntactically, this one is going to complain. This one is just going to say it's going to give me an error at runtime. So we'll learn more about that as I go into different, you know, different lessons. Okay, so let me go ahead and clear. So this one is going to be, I wish it would show me the, okay, this one is C sharp, and then the second one is going to be the Python one. So on the first one, what I can do now, I can say .NET run. And this is actually going to run this code and show you the word hello world. So we know that our, our C sharp code is working. So now let's go ahead and go into, and I think I can, oh, this is this is even better. So it, it'll be better in other in other videos, I promise, because I'll have I'll have everything prepared. But I'm I'm finding out what I need to do here. Okay, this is awesome. Because now I can have both of them running. Okay, so this is my Python one, and then this one is going to be my C sharp. And then here what you what you need to do to run the video one Python code is basically Python space the type of the script. And this one I just have to do that net run. And you can see that on both of them we're seeing the word the word hello world. And this is normally you know the first thing that you do when you're de dealing with code. So that's basically everything that I wanted to show you in this video, just you know getting things set up and then printing. I said that I was gonna cover variables. Let's go ahead and do that on the next video so that I don't make this one too long. But for the most part, just to give you an overview, make sure that you get VS Code downloaded. Once you, once you have VS Code, also download the .NET CLI, which you can download it from the web, and I'm going to also put it in the description of this video. And then also it's going to require that you install the Python dependencies. And once you create a file called Video1 or whatever you want to call it with extensions of PY, it's going to tell you that it needs to download additional components. Make sure that you say yes, and once you get to a point, you're going to be where, where I am. And I'm also going to be including this project in GitHub, so make sure that you look in GitHub if you want to download it. So that's everything that I wanted to show you today, guys. I really appreciate your time, and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time, and if you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you very much, guys.